They say that the older we get, the more resilient and tough we become. Is that true for all things, even spacecraft? Well, it seems true for the two spacecraft we'll talk about in this episode. In this week's space updates, we're launching into two stories of resilience and toughness. Our 46-year-old space legend, Voyager 1, is back in action, sending data from all four of its instruments after previously only sending data from two. And the Hubble Space Telescope, despite a recent hiccup, just bounced back from a technical glitch like a champ, giving us those stunning cosmic snapshots we all love. First, we're sad to report the passing of a true space pioneer, Ed Stone. Stone was the former director of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and the longtime project scientist for the Voyager mission. He died on June 9, 2024, at the age of 88. Stone was known for his steady leadership, consensus building, and enthusiasm for engaging the public in science. During his tenure, the Voyager mission revealed amazing discoveries like active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io and an atmosphere rich with organic molecules on Saturn's moon Titan. Dr. Stone's dedication to science, love of discovery, and belief in sharing knowledge will continue to inspire future generations. His legacy, embodied in the Voyager mission, continues to push beyond the stars. Voyager 1 is back with all four instruments, sending back usable science data. NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft resumed normal science operations after experiencing a technical issue that began in November 2023. The issue was partially resolved in April by prompting the spacecraft to return engineering data, which included information about its health and status. On May 19, 2024, the mission team executed the second step of the repair process by commanding the spacecraft to begin returning science data. Two of the four science instruments immediately returned to their normal operating modes, while the other two required additional work. Here's a fun fact. Voyager 1 is the farthest human-made object from our planet. Launched in 1977, it is now over 14 billion miles or 22 billion kilometers from Earth. That's like driving around the Earth's equator over 560,000 times. Can you believe it's been out there for almost half a century and is still going strong? By June 2024, Voyager 1's four instruments, crucial for understanding interstellar space, were all providing valuable data again. These instruments study things like plasma waves, magnetic fields, and particles. This information is essential because it allows us to see how the influence of our sun, like a protective bubble, interacts with the vast interstellar medium beyond. In a nutshell, Voyager 1 and 2 are the only probes that have directly ventured into and collected data from interstellar space, making their findings incredibly valuable. While science operations are back on track, a few minor tasks remain. Engineers will synchronize the timekeeping software across the spacecraft's three computers to ensure commands are executed precisely. They will also perform maintenance on the digital tape recorder used by the plasma wave instrument for data storage. Though Ed Stone has passed away, Voyager 1's latest return of scientific data from its four instruments is a powerful reminder of the mission's enduring legacy and ongoing contributions to our understanding of the cosmos. Like and share this video. Here's a picture of two kittens as a reward. Thank you. NASA's June 4, 2024 press conference, led by Mark Clampin and Patrick Krauss, addressed recent issues with the Hubble Space Telescope, which had briefly entered safe mode due to a malfunctioning gyroscope, a recurring problem in its long history. Although Hubble technically only needs one gyroscope, switching to single gyro mode could impact some scientific observations. Here's why. Think of it like this. Switching gears in a race car, it might change the ride, but the journey continues. In the past, Hubble received in-orbit servicing, a remarkable achievement. However, recent attempts to revive this approach haven't succeeded. Fast forward to today, Hubble's not just surviving, it's thriving with a new mode. In a testament to the ingenuity of NASA's engineers and the resilience of the telescope itself, Hubble has once again proven its adaptability. 
After successfully switching to a new one gyro operating mode, Grandpa Hubble is back in action, capturing fresh images. Check out this spectacular image of NGC 1546, a spiral galaxy in Dorado's constellation. Look at those illuminated dust lanes and vibrant blue regions where stars are being born. The galaxy's favorable orientation reveals illuminated dust lanes stretching from the galaxy's core. These lanes appear rusty brown as they absorb and redden the light from the yellow core composed of older stars. Amidst the dust, vibrant blue regions indicate areas of active star formation. The image also showcases several background galaxies, including a notable edge-on spiral, offering a glimpse into the cosmic landscape beyond NGC 1546. The image, taken by Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3, is part of a collaborative observing program with the James Webb Space Telescope. The program also utilizes Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array data, providing scientists with a detailed multi-wavelength perspective on star formation and evolution. This marks one of Hubble's first observations in the new pointing mode, which is expected to enable consistent scientific operations. The NASA team anticipates Hubble can conduct most of its scientific observations using this mode, ensuring its groundbreaking cosmic exploration continues. Hubble's new image of this spectacular galaxy demonstrates the success of our new, more stable pointing mode, said Dr. Jennifer Wiseman. Hubble's senior project scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, launched in 1990, Hubble has been observing the universe for over three decades, and its latest images prove that it's still making groundbreaking contributions. So, here's a thought. Since we're talking about telescopes and what they actually captured, why don't you watch our video about the James Webb Telescope discoveries next?